Hey guys, Keith Rainville here, the Fat Yankee, my friends. So listen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a part two video. I have a, a, a part two video, but I do get a lot of questions on what happens after we do our recipes. So I'm gonna do this video just to show you the whole process again. Um, and uh, we're gonna load up our trays. We're gonna put it in the oven until it reaches 160. And then I'm gonna show you how we put it in the dehydrator again, okay guys? So here we go, I got some beef jerky here that's been marinating for 48 hours, guys. That's the key. Remember that my three, life sh uh, three month shelf life, 48 hours. What's happening is, is uh, that, that salt is getting inside the meat and, and it's basically doing a little bit of the cooking process, okay? So I'm gonna line up these trays and what I wanna do here is when I line this up, I'm gonna simply line it up so the jerky is not touching each other, okay? Because that will cook faster in the dehydrator, right? So I got these nice strips here. Now what I try to do is I always try to find a thick piece that I have in my bucket. And that's the piece that I'm gonna insert the probe into my internal thermometer, okay? So remember, we're gonna put that internal thermometer into a piece of jerky here, nice thick piece of jerky. And I'm gonna strategically put that in the front of the tray on one of these trays here. Mm, this absolutely smells delicious. And I, I can tell that marinade, again, after 48 hours, it really darkens up the meat, gets right inside the meat. This is a nice thick piece. I'm gonna use that in front here and put that on the front of the tray, okay? So this is how we do it. We're lining up all this nice beef jerky, not touching each other, okay? And I got about, uh, this is about two pounds here. So here we go, just bear with me. All right, look at that. Just like this. All right, my friends. So these nice Cabela trays, you can stack these up uh, three and four high, especially they fit really nice into the Weston 160L or the 80. So this is it, guys, okay? So I got my first tray here of jerky. Oops, and I'm just gonna put this one on top, just like this. And now I'm gonna start my second tray. Sometimes what I do to just make a light work of this is I will put some of this jerky, actually the rest of it, right on the tray so I don't have to reach back and forth, just like that. Again, this is about two pounds. Ooh, and this smells absolutely delicious. Okay, so I already got my, um, my piece in the front and the reason I put that on the bottom it doesn't really matter if you put it on the, the top shelf or the bottom of this see these these trays are, are nice especially the air just circulates up and through here in, in the oven and especially if you have a convection oven now you got to be uh, it, it's gonna happen the internal temperature is gonna happen a little bit quicker in a convection oven because they got the fans inside uh, those convection ovens, okay? But we just have a conventional oven here. All right, so now we're almost done. Okay. All right, that's all set. Now I'm gonna do is rinse my hands off. Grab some paper towels. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, guys, Get that nice and cleaned up, everything nice and neat. And so I'm gonna bring this over to the oven, I'm gonna insert the probe, I'm gonna wait till this gets to 160 degrees. Now I have my oven set to 375. Now I know that this is approximately gonna take 16 to 18 minutes for the internal temperature of the jerky to get to 160 degrees, okay? The oven is set at 375. It's gonna take about 16 to 18 minutes for my oven. Your oven may be different. So what you're looking for is that internal temperature to reach 160 degrees. Then we're gonna simply pull the probe out and we're gonna stick this in the dehydrator for roughly, if it's a Weston, approximately uh, three and a half to four hours. Now, you always wanna keep an eye on this because every particular marinade that you do is always different. The dehydration time is always different because some marinades have more salt than others. Uh, and, and not just salt, it's sugars that cure things, it, it's spices that cure things, it's not just salt. So it, it's really seasoned. Uh, and that's a lot, does a lot of the curing process. 
before we even get to the slow uh, preservation and dehydration of the beef jerky, okay? So here we go, guys. I'm gonna bring this over to the stove. Okay, everyone, so we're at the oven here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this internal probe, and I'm gonna stick this in that beef jerky just like that, okay? So I got to pull this down just like this. Slip that right in the oven. You see it's inside the jerky. Got my cord here. Bingo. So now I'm gonna wait till this hits 160 degrees. You see it's at uh, 125 right now. So we got 40 more points to go. As a matter of fact, I have the alarm set on this so that when that hits 160, we're gonna pull that out and put it in our dehydrator. Okay guys? So listen, we'll be right back. I Listen, I won't torture you and have you wait 16, 18 minutes of me. I, maybe I could do a song and dance or something like that. But anyway, I'll, we'll be right back and we'll put this in our dehydrator and finish off the process. Okay guys, we're back. We're gonna take our jerky out. We've got our, our temperature up to about 160 here now. But just be careful when you open up this oven, you're gonna get blasted with the heat. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna take this rack, I'm gonna put it up on my stove, quick, quick, like this, okay? And I'm gonna take these racks right out, just like this, and leave all the drippings in the other pan. And I'm gonna take this out here, put this right in the dehydrator, just like this, guys. All right, there's one. And I got one more in the oven. I'm gonna put that and just put that in. I'm gonna put that probe in there. Now it's very important now that you that you don't open this oven door at any point when you're waiting for that to get up to 160 degrees. Because if you do, you're gonna let out a ton of that heat, and you could possibly overdry the jerky inside the oven. That's not the the premise of what we're supposed to do. Just bring it up to 160. Leave the door shut. You can see I've got my dehydrator here. Uh, I set it for four hours, but you know, you kind of know, you get to know what flavors cook at certain temperatures and how long. So you always want to check your, your jerky. Now, mine is cut an inch and a quarter, so I'm going to check this after about three hours or so. Uh, this is a spicy mango we got in here. So I, I don't want to overcook my jerky. I want to make sure when I take it out, that when I actually test the jerky, I'm gonna just tear it, make sure it's done, and make sure I see those spider web like threads inside the jerky, okay? So I got my dehydrator all the way up to 160 degrees, and then I set the timer on this just so I make sure that I don't overcook the jerky. So that's it, my friends. That is the whole process of, of making a safe beef jerky. The biggest step is putting it in the oven with the probe uh, to 160 degrees. Again, I set my oven to 375 for about 16 to 18 minutes. Make sure you do not open uh, the oven door. If you're continuing to cook your jerky in the oven, you wanna just put your oven on the lowest temperature. First of all, you wanna get it to 160 and then put it on the lowest temperature, put a wooden spoon in the door so it's propped up a little bit and then just continue to cook your jerky in that case in the oven it's really going to take about uh it could be anywhere from one and a half to two hours but again check your jerky so uh if you're using a different thickness uh that you don't overcook it okay guys hey listen i hope you like the video guys if you have any questions put them at the bottom of the video here and uh subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this is the fat yankee my friends we'll see you soon